The Home Secretary has promised a tough response against what she called selfish protesters spoiling world-class sport this summer. It comes after Just Stop Oil activists disrupted two matches on the same court at Wimbledon. It was an embarrassment for the All England Club, which has dedicated huge resources to prevent such invasions. Nithya Rajan is there. So, extra security checks, Nithya, have caused long delays for those trying to get in, but seemingly not stopped part of what it was intended to do. Well, Kate, uh, it was the drama that everybody here was expecting, but that nobody really wanted. Now, they had gone through, as you mentioned, extra security measure, banning chalk powder, dust, any sort of thing that would create those uh, plumes of orange powder that we've seen previously at other sporting events happening here on court. But despite all of that, yesterday at 2.10 in the afternoon, protesters struck. This time they were armed with confetti and jigsaw pieces which they threw all over the court. They had bought the jigsaw set apparently from the gift shop. Now that's been taken off the shelves and the uh, crowd was booing. Two hours later the same thing happened this time uh, disrupting Katie Bolter's match and she went on to win her games uh, having to stop and start and clean up after the activists and Despite all of that, she, as I said earlier, she's went, to, went on to win her games. Now, two men and a woman has been arrested. But what is unclear is whether Wimbledon organisers will beef up security even more, causing longer queues. But what is definitely certain is they are desperately keen here for any of the action that happens on court to remain strictly tennis-related. Yes, yeah, thank you very much indeed. Well, security has been ramped up at Headingley for the third Ashes test, which gets underway this morning. The authorities want to avoid further protests by environmental campaigners, but there are also concerns about a possible backlash against Australia after the controversial dismissal of Johnny Bairstow at Lords. England are 2 0 down and need a win to keep the series alive. Nick Dixon is at Headingley. Nick, there are measures in place to prevent another pitch invasion and presumably extra security too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it can be pretty lively and hostile here in terms of the atmosphere at the best of times during the big matches at Headingley. So, yes, a few extra concerns for match officials just in terms of security. I mean, you just mentioned the possibility of a pitch invasion for starters. That's a concern here. You'll remember last week in England's second match against Australia, someone made it onto the pitch at Lords. Uh, Johnny Burstow ended up carrying that protester off. So, yes, there will be extra stewards and security staff uh, here this morning and all day for the match. On top of that, extra checks if you're taking bags into the stadium and also what they've been referred to as specialist stewards, essentially faster runners on staff who can potentially get onto the pitch and stop people getting past the, the perimeter fence uh, here at Headingley to make sure everything goes smoothly. But also there are concerns as well about crowd trouble aimed at the Australian players and the fans, of course, as well. After that controversial dismissal of uh, Johnny Burstow in the second test, Many felt it was extremely unsporting, to say the least. The uh, Prime Minister of uh, this country and also Australia got involved. So, yeah, it could be an interesting one today. And as you say, it's a must-win match as well for England. Nick, that's very much indeed. That's it. You're up to date.